What's up guys? Today I am outside on the most miserable day of the entire year, the hottest day of the year. Literally today there are record-breaking temperatures here in my area. The heat index is 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which is super hot. And I am out here because why wouldn't I be out here? No, but seriously, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can protect your camera gear in extreme heat. But before I get into that, I want to do an experiment and see just how hot it really is. The question that I have asked myself is, with this kind of weather, can I fry an egg with just sunlight? This is something that a lot of people have tried, but I haven't tried it myself. So, you know, that's what I'm here to do today. So I wanted to do this experiment outside on, you know, something like hot asphalt. Uh, but before doing that, I actually tested it out on my balcony. So I put a frying pan out on my balcony, I cracked an egg into it, I put my camera on time-lapse mode, and I waited. And a record-breaking four hours later, this is what happened. So after leaving this egg out here in the sun in, on my balcony for four hours, this is what it turned into. It pretty much turned into like a piece of plastic or like a piece of glass. Like it's not liquid at all, but it's not something you'd want to eat. So, you know, I was hoping it would, it would actually fry the egg. It didn't quite fry but it did harden. Hmm. Fascinating. So this basically just shows you how hot it really is outside. All right, so now you have an idea of how hot and how miserable it was outside. So let's talk about a few ways that you can protect your camera gear in extreme heat. According to Canon, the normal working temperature of a Canon 7D is 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero to 40 degrees Celsius. I suspect this is probably pretty similar among all DSLR cameras. But if you live in Texas, Arizona, Las Vegas, or Washington DC during a heat wave, then you're gonna be outside of the normal working temperature of the camera, at least on certain days of the year. So what can you do? Number one, use faster memory cards. Sometimes cameras overheat due to internal heat, and one thing that contributes to that is writing information to memory cards. Old and slow memory cards force cameras to work hard. So if you want your camera to have optimal performance, you need to get faster and newer memory cards. Which brings me to the next point. Try to avoid using camera settings that make the camera work hard and therefore create more heat. So that means limit the use of live view for still photography. This will minimize heat buildup from the image sensor and LCD screen. You can also use an AC adapter kit. By doing that, you would essentially remove the battery source from within the camera and allow the camera to work off of an external battery source. Number three try to avoid condensation. When you're in a humid environment and you're constantly going back and forth between extreme heat and cooler temperatures, condensation can form inside a lens and prevent you from getting clear images. Even worse, however, is that in extreme cases, condensation can actually form inside of the camera body and cause the camera to shut down or maybe even short circuit. I've personally never experienced this myself. I've just read about it and I hope that I never do experience this. So if you're going back and forth from an extremely cold and air conditioned building to you know extreme heat that you might be finding outside in a really humid environment, then you might want to bring an airtight resealable Ziploc bag or something similar. Place your camera inside the bag and allow it to warm up inside the bag before taking it out. Number four, use an umbrella. 
When you're out shooting for long periods of time, especially if you've got your camera set on a tripod and you're doing some long exposures or something like that, consider using an umbrella to create shade over the camera. Earlier, when I measured the temperature in the shade, it was 100 degrees Fahrenheit. However, when I put the thermometer into the sun, it immediately went up to 120, and 120 was the maximum that the thermometer was able to reach, so it might have even been hotter than 120. I don't know. But it was definitely a lot hotter in the sun, so keeping your camera in the shade will make a big difference. Which brings me to point number four. Use towels, ice packs, gel packs, coolers, or anything else you can think of to try to cool down your equipment. And if you have separate batteries that you're not using at that point in time, keep them in a separate area to try to keep them cool. And number six, rotate your cameras. If you're shooting in extreme temperatures, then bring different cameras. Bring more than one camera if you have more than one camera so that you can give your cameras a break every so often to let them cool down. Basically, you just wanna alternate back and forth between the cameras. So what is the hottest temperature that you personally have ever taken photos in? Let me know in the comments. Let's see who here has experienced the most miserable weather of all. I'm going to pin the most miserable weather related story to the top of the comments. So let's hear them. As always, give this video a thumbs up or a like, whatever you call it, if you enjoyed watching me try to fry an egg in the sun. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I don't just fry eggs in the sun, I actually post photography related videos to my channel. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Stay cool.